my name is Richard Benash. I'm a scrap metal dealer and a part-time artist. My brother started this business, I'm going to say in about 1975. And uh, you know, my twin brother, my big brother, three minutes older. I've done shows in New York City. And then I've done some shows in Connecticut. I built a park on Elm Street. I did like 60 feet of fence line. I own a scrap yard. We've always cut steel and cutting steel. We just found the old scrap and we started putting things together here. I cut it out, we weld it together. And it's just kind of a fun way to pass the time. Come on in. We've got everything here. Yeah. No trucks. Trying to make street signs here. Oh. <laughs> Now I have some more signs. Let's see what this one is. Oh, yeah. But, um, the old pirates with it. No smoking. Hey, okay. Clean up after your dog, guys. I towing a car. I don't know. I don't know what it means. Maybe, uh, it's just, don't break down. <laughs> Here's a car. So nice. Then we have some modern stuff over here. Right, what we do is how we start the art. There's a little piece of chalk. I'll grab a piece of metal. Let's see, what can we write on here? Like, say if we had this side beam here. I gotta get an easier one. Over here, say here. It's very simple. Say we wanted to make a little tree. This would be the base. We come across, we just chalk it out. Or actually we could even turn this into, maybe we turn this into a grapevine. You know, and then like what happens is, you draw it roughly. And then actually when I start doing it, I'll change things around a little bit, but this could be a grapevine right here. Now we're going to put some more grapes up here. Ba -bam. And then we'll cut this out with a plasma cutter because this is thin steel. Like the heavier stuff, like the, the sculptures that are on the fence line, or these big ones here, they're done with just a torch. The regular oxygen acetylene torch. I'll cut those out. And then I'll bend them up a little bit, and then uh, we'll weld them down to a plate. Believe it or not, I've been an artist since I was a little kid, but I really got my start in artwork actually being in the military. The third year I was in the Army, I taught arts and crafts. This would be the first artwork we, we did at this location, which is the scrap yard. And I've always used scrap metal that I found within the yard. And of course, 9-11 made an impact on all of us being American. So this started the art in the neighborhood. And then from here, we went over here and uh, then we went over to this site here, which I'm ex-military, I'm a veteran, and uh, we lost two of our neighbors here. And out of respect for the two young men, we built this little memorial, which people actually come by and put flowers. This was an old floor of a factory, which we figure art would be one of the nicest things in the neighborhood to make everybody feel good, help build the city the way it should be. So we started doing our artwork. And then we continued with our recycling bottles again. See, I'm going to turn the bottle on and get a little air out of it.
you know, you say art and work, it's funny because we can buy scrap metal and all the guys that work here, Rich, Rich, let me show you this piece. We're fine objects, we'll put them together, turn them into art. And people, the guys always look after me. If there's a nice I-beam comes in or a steel plate and, uh, you know, we just, whatever we find that's practical, we save it and then we turn it to art sooner or later.